YouTube, Eddie here, and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, and for that I apologize. Some of you reached out and asked me where I've been, and truth be told, I made a move from New England down to Texas for work. And that big beautiful workshop I had in New England, I don't have that down here in Texas. What I do have is this outbuilding on my property. It's a 12 by 18. It's pretty small as you can see. It's jam-packed full of tools. Same thing with my garage. It's jam-packed full of tools. Uh, the plan is though, I want to treble the size of this outbuilding. That way it'll give me enough room where I'm not so choked. And, and I'll be able to make some decent videos once I treble the size here. Well, you'll decide whether they're decent, of course. Um, in any event, on a serious note, it's March 26th. And if you're like me, you're quarantining in place, you're practicing your social distancing, and I've been fortunate enough, uh, I'm able to work from home. Uh, I know a lot of people who aren't so fortunate. So, you know, my heart really goes out to you if your livelihood has been affected by this virus. And I just really hope you, you land on your feet real soon. Okay. So while I'm quarantined here at my house, I found I, I've got a few extra hours on my hands. So I figured it's a good opportunity for me to knock out some projects that I've been meaning to get to. And today what I want to do is I want to build some raised garden beds. Now this project, uh, if this is something you want to do during this uh, COVID-19 situation that we're in, you can still do it and practice your social distance, distancing. What I did is I ordered everything online from Home Depot, all my lumber, hardware, soil, everything. And they delivered it to my house at 6.15 in the morning. I was still in bed. I, you don't have to interact with anyone, it's fantastic. Okay, so the tools that you're gonna need for something like this, uh, it, you're gonna need a square, you're gonna need a level, you're gonna need a post hole digger, uh, you're gonna need some string, tape measure, and um, you're gonna need a saw. I'm gonna use a miter saw. Uh, if you don't have a miter saw, you can use a hand saw. There aren't too many cuts. Uh, and if you don't wanna use a hand saw and you don't have a miter saw, you can present Home Depot or Lowe's a cut list and they'll go ahead and cut it for you for a fee. So there's that option as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut our lumber to length. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this project requires eight boards, and these boards are two by eight by 10 feet. Now, when you buy uh, your boards, it's gonna come longer than 10 feet. It's usually about a half inch longer. So what I'm doing here, I'm uh, taking off a little bit at the end so I have a nice clean square end, and then I make my measurement to 10 feet and I cut that bit off as well. So I have a nice square 10 foot board and I'm doing this for all eight of them. Okay, this project requires four posts that are four by four by four. And these posts come in eight foot length, so I'm just cutting them in half right here. Incidentally, the wood I'm using is pressure treated. It's gonna last an awful long time. Uh, back in the day, they used to pressure treat it with arsenic, which you can't have vegetables in a raised garden bed, but with the new stuff, as far as I can tell, you can. But don't take my word for it because I don't know what I'm talking about. So do your own research. Okay, now that the uh, lumber has been cut to length, we're gonna go ahead and dig some holes for the post. That's gonna be the first step. First step is uh, digging a hole and uh, burying that first post. That first post, it's very critical to getting the other three uh, in position correctly. So we're gonna start with that first post. This is my side yard. It gets enough sun here. Uh, so this should be, should be a decent spot. Okay.
Okay, that's the first post, obviously. Uh, like I mentioned before, it's critical to get this one in um, in the position that, that you want because all your other posts are gonna be going off this first one here. Um, I dug a depth of about 13, 14 inches. I think that'll be enough. I threw a couple rocks in there for a little bit of support. Uh, so I think, it, I think we're good. Okay, we're gonna start with the other, other three. Okay, I'm using the string here to orient the second post in the correct position relative to the first post. Uh, all I do is I, I have the string lay flat against the same sides uh, of, the, of the post with the post number one and post number two. And that gets me close. Okay, so we're finished digging the holes for the posts. I have the posts installed. Everything looks okay. Is it 100% square? Probably not, uh, but that's okay because once, once I start screwing the sides into the post, it's gonna true it up. Um, also, digging the holes was not absolutely necessary. I wanted it because I have a mower, kids, dogs. I know that we're gonna be running into it from time to time, so I wanted I wanted the post in the ground. But again, it's not necessary. You don't have to do this uh, for a raised garden bed. Um, and in fact, you know, once, once you put the soil in, yeah, it's gonna be pretty stable, but I just wanted that extra stability. So that's why I decided to go for that workout. Uh, we're gonna call it a day because it's about ready to rain. It's about 5.30. So we'll pick this up. We'll pick this up tomorrow morning, okay. The next morning. Okay, good morning. It's a beautiful day. Um, I may have mentioned that the spot I chose for the raised garden bed is not the flattest. Um, I have other spots on my property that are completely flat, but I chose this because this gets a lot of sunlight, so we're going with it. Um, the, the holes are dug, the posts are in, so the next step is to screw the, the boards into the post. And we're gonna start with the flattest, uh, with the lowest side, and then go all the way around, making sure that all the boards are parallel to the low side. And we're probably gonna have to use the pitchfork to get that done. Okay, let's go.
it's important to get this first board nice and level and flat along the ground because all the other boards, not just you know the three boards going around, but every board on top of it is gonna be referencing this board. So it's important to get this first board correct. Okay, the screws I'm using, it's a, this is a company called Spax. Uh, they're not a sponsor. I mean, I have five and a half thousand subscribers. You know, you're not gonna get too many sponsors with that. Uh, but this is a great product. Uh, these are three inch screws. They're exterior deck screws, meaning they can withstand the weather. But the nice thing about Spax is they have a, a patented tip on here where you don't have to drill a pilot hole before you start screwing them in, which is a massive time saver. Uh, so I recommend these, these are, these are the best. Okay. Okay, as you can see by me sweating profusely, that was the hardest part of the job. Making sure all the boards going around the post are square and level. Um, as you saw, I had to use my pitchfork to, uh, to level some areas out. Uh, but now that it's all level, it should go real quick now uh, because I don't have to think about uh, the boards being level or not because I know the first round is. And I'm putting three three uh, levels, uh, three boards on top of each other. So the next part should go pretty easy. Okay, so I think we're actually done building the raised garden bed. Uh, it wasn't terribly difficult. Uh, is it perfect? No. Uh, is it the prettiest? No. But it's, uh, it's gonna last me a long time. Like I said, it's pressure treated wood. I'm not gonna have to replace this for a very long time. Uh, the next step is we're gonna fill it with dirt and we should be done, okay. Okay, one of the last steps, uh, I have this weed control film. This is Vagaro weed control film. Got it from Home Depot. I got everything from Home Depot. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this along the bed here. So it's gonna retard weed growth. And I'm gonna go ahead and staple it to the sides.
Okay guys, I think we're done. Uh, I just filled the uh, raised garden bed with 60 bags of soil. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, you could have saved a little bit of money if you didn't go three high like I did. You'd save money in terms of lumber and in terms of soil. The reason why I went three high is because we have a lot of rabbits in the yard and I wanted to make this as rabbit proof as possible and I think I accomplished that. Time will tell though. Um, the material that I use, these are all two by eights by tens and uh, the, the ends are, it's 39 inches. Um, and the posts come in four, uh, eight foot lengths. I just chopped them in half, four feet. And um, the tools you'll need, you'll need a cordless drill. Again, uh, it, it'll be helpful if it's a hammer drill. Uh, you're gonna need a level, a square, some string, and a saw. Not, not too complicated. Oh, and you're gonna need the, um, the screws. I used the three inch spacks decking screws, which are fantastic. Uh, and it took me about three, four hours for this. Not too bad. Uh, so again, you know, we're, we're all quarantined here. We're all trying to practice our social distancing. And this is a great project to do that because you could order everything from Home Depot and, it, uh, and Lowe's too, I'm, I imagine. I'm just not sure. Uh, order everything from Home Depot. They'll deliver it. You don't have to interact with anyone. So again, it's a great project while you're holed up and have a few extra hours on on your hands this is a great project and um guys i i hope everyone uh is safe i hope i hope you continue to stay safe and continue your social distancing if you like me you you're just assuming everyone that you see has the coronavirus so i say i'm trying to stay as as clear away from anyone as possible i hope you do the same hope you stay safe and guys if you like the video and if you haven't done so already Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Okay, thanks guys.